Whew. What year is it again? 2015. The age of the victim <clears throat> is what I call it. Yeah, age of the little bitch. See, bitch man. I think uh, what manhood is missing today was a lot of what uh, it had back from the 50s, 60s, and 70s to the uh, mid 80s. Mm -hmm. by, the, by the time the 90s came in, something happened. Maybe it was a trend in music or some style, some clothing style, which made the skinny effeminate guy cool again yeah, yeah. <laughs> for whatever reason. And then there's emo music that came out. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, wait. Um, before, be, before it was emo, it, it was actually pretty fair when The Cure came out. Oh, yeah. Of course, I mean, uh, the, they, the ended, days, they ended yeah. up being the grandfathers of emo, uh -huh. you know, kind of. And, and some of the new wave music like Suzy and the Banshees and Depeche Mode. Oh, yeah. I love Depeche Mode. Huh? And then it started to get a little bit more depressing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And when it's, as soon as it became a trend to wear more eyeliner and black <laughs> lipstick and, and black nail polish for guys, right. then they get into the songs that, that, uh, that people um, get depressed over oh, yeah. and think it's cool to impress the other depressed oh, girl. Right. Kryptonite weather. Yeah, I used to walk in there. I used to always have to look at him twice. I'm like, is that a girl? Oh, that's a guy. Everybody's always questioning too. Is that a? That's a girl. That's a guy. That's a. That's a guy. That's a guy. Because of my background, I knew what. But everybody was confused. Like that. What is that? <laughs> kind of pretty. <laughs> well, that's a dude. Oh. Um. Well, anyway. Or, or what they what or what they call bullying on the internet. Uh, it's stuff that they get offended by with what they read. Yeah. The, 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 mm -hmm. Now the thing is, the thing about the internet is, when when a person really gets into it, it's like getting into TV. Yeah. Especially when the movie that you're into or a TV show, it, it gets you mostly drawn. It's like, oh come on, yeah. Who do that? Do that? No, this is. You know? it's, it's like it's like you're watching a football game. You know. Yeah. At least yeah. the game is a bit more realistic. Oh right? God, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, nowadays with these today's trends, it's become more acceptable for 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 people to feel accepted about the. Uh, about playing the victim a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, oh man. Yeah, it, yeah the people post the victim that, yeah. post all the time, man. Mm -hmm. And one guy's you know, talking about how he's, he feels like he's got demons that are affecting him sexually and psychologically. And man, what the fuck, dude? And what the fuck are you letting him do that for? You're, you're telling me about it, so obviously you're aware enough to know that you shouldn't want to do that. You know, I think sometimes. I think about think. about at least it. half the time. Right. I think people. I think yeah. I think people just make that shit up. So of they course. Can, yeah. so, so that they can yeah. fish other people to actually experience that. Right. <laughs> right. Get people to, to, to reach out and make yeah. up with them and feed them energy. You know. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you just never never feed them what they want. You know. Just if you're gonna deal with them, just never feed them what they want. Yeah, and if you don't give them what they want, you're a troll. Or you're yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. You're a troll. <laughs> or, yeah. 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 Or you're, or you're a bully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking on you on the fucking internet. They, they're, they're gonna call you're 5,000 miles away from me. They're, they're gonna call people bullies for disagreeing with them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I went on a feed, man, when somebody was quoting something out the Bible. So I went into the, uh, the council, how it was created, and then they went right back with another verse in the Bible. <laughs> He's like, I can't even do it. Like, I'm gonna have to repost his meme because. Yeah. Didn't you realize what we just said? Yeah, yeah. Why are you going back in the book that yeah, just, yeah, you just that don't make that sense? Right there. Debate's over with at that point. Like, yeah. what the fuck? You're well, irrational now. Yeah. Uh, I think I think if, if I think they think if they have to keep posting more of these verses, that it's gonna that it's gonna fog over. Mm -hmm. I just put, what's bothering I just put the yeah. meme back up and do another one about mm -hmm. uh, where Jesus came from, right. the actual face, the actual mm -hmm. name, and yeah. then shut the hell up. Hell, even the flat earth trend. Hell, I've been I've been destroying a lot of threads just on memes alone. I don't even have to say anything. Just post right. a meme. Yeah. I feel like, oh well, yeah, where's your proof of coverture? <laughs> You're brainwashed, man. You're brainwashed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm brainwashed, okay. I'm not saying anything. I'm just putting a meme there. Yeah. And I have another meme that has information that proves something else that they're visited about. As a counter, boom. <laughs> and they cannot even... Google move. it! <laughs> it's on Google. Actually, actually, I do have one thread that I actually saved a screenshot for, <laughs> where where it has all that, you know, the calling me a shill or a troll oh, or a, a, troll. a paid a troll, troll. Yeah. Wow. you know, for for uh, for believing that the Earth was round. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> wow, a, really? A flatter. Mm -hmm. And you see, the thing is, they'll, they'll fight back with stuff like, but it makes so much sense, dude. If you look at it like this, if you look like that. Now, I actually, I think, I think the one reason why they're they're believing the information that they're getting mm -hmm. is um, is one or two of those guys are really good at NLP. Right. Uh, you know, yeah, because I've, sure. I've, I've sure. watched, I've read the shit that they say. I've, I've watched how they spoke. Oh, yeah. I go, oh man, you're fucking just weaseling them like that. Wow. That Lord Stephen I'm Christ good. with the uh, concave earth. He's real, I've, mm -hmm. I've listened to some of his uh, YouTube. He's, he's very NLP. -ish, yeah. so. wow. And that's the reason why they couldn't get me. I, I know my share of the NLP. Right. <laughs> oh, I studied a lot of it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, one of the, one of the most rawest forms of NLP learning was a, a course called Speed Seduction started by a guy named Ross, Ross Jeffries. Yeah, you gave me that. Yeah. You gave me one and, of his, uh, uh, books. Yeah. And a lot, a, lot of, a lot of the techniques in NLP that he uses, like he has, he has like these openers called weasel phrases. Okay. Like for example, like let's say there's one phrase, let's say, hey, have you ever, and then you just pause. Next thing you know, the, the mind is already created. You say, oh, never mind. Uh -huh. like, hey, what, 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 what? what say? Well, well, you know, or, or any... Or, or any any leading any leading speech that um, that keeps the curiosity for the next line. Like I would say, have you ever found yourself instantaneously connected to someone? You see, I'm using the body language as uh -huh. a, as if I'm gesturing to myself right. as an example. Right. Let's say a, a let's say a loose general detached example mm -hmm. but I'm still gesturing it to myself yeah, they're yeah. subconsciously connected you know you. and then what happens then is I'll describe a process of how it happens what's happening is the person I'm speaking to their mind is going through that process that I'm describing mm -hmm. so that they're putting themselves into the experience mm -hmm. in order to understand what I'm saying because of the effect of my weasel phrase right. you know it opens curiosity and they get fascinated they're like leaning forward more like yeah. what what tell me more you know it's like ooh and uh, that's that's one of the other big tools of NLP. You know, you capture and lead the imagination mm -hmm. anywhere you want it to go. Mm. Uh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. You heard me? You did, you did that earlier mm -hmm. when we were doing the, the six count. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, I was messing it up and he said, uh, have you ever noticed? Yeah. And then I was like, ah, and he said, that only to every time you mess up is when you don't want to do, or when you do put your arm in the wrong place, you don't want to do it, and all of a sudden it started clicking. I was like, God, God, what the fuck is that? I was so doing I, it. I, I noticed I, I, I said, it. I said, have you it. ever noticed how every time when you're not used to doing something, and, 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 you're, and you're messing up, and you know it, it's because you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden I was like, yeah. clack, 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 and I wasn't trying, I wasn't trying any harder or nothing, it was just starting to make sense. <laughs> I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Yep. I figured that's what you were doing. Too. Mm -hmm. I figured that's what well, I was Because I didn't do it. I didn't make it make my, sense. It my, my main purpose for learning NLP back in the early 90s was way back in the day, I had a very hard time speaking. I always stuttered a lot. Yeah. you know, And uh, my mind would race so much like I'd have a whole paragraph ahead while, while, I'm, while I'm on the first line speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. He must have called shit. I have to catch up over here yeah, and catch up over here yeah. for this level of consciousness to catch mm -hmm. on. Right. You know? And uh, yeah. so I I learned, that, I learned that version of NLP as a more raw and direct way of being able to practice expressing myself along with the motivation to impress women because... Right, right. Man's greatest motivation overall it has to do with impressing women, even know, gay men. Know, know. You know, if it's if, if it's not a sexual thing, it's going to be something else that's related to them. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, besides their mothers. Right, right. 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 So, you know, know. Yep. Yeah. I notice every group of gay guys always has one queen that mm -hmm. that's around. They treat her like you know a princess and shit. She gets spoiled. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, as I was as I was studying the speech right. seduction course. I was studying all these different patterns, these language patterns that, that largely had to do surrounded, surrounded with, um, with uh, verbal seduction on a female. You know, a, a lot of this has to do with, you know, like I said, capturing and reading their imagination and distorting their, time, their sense of time in the moment. Like I say, you're distorting their sense of time by making them feel like they've known you forever. When, when, when they really feel that, they feel, they feel totally connected to you. All of a sudden, they really believe that they mm -hmm. believe that they know that they get a look in the eye like that. Yep. So it's like, oh, I think he's the one. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's me. 
relationships are very important. What does that mean? You know, to these emotional human creatures. Yeah. Wow. So yes, it's it's you're, you're capturing and leading their imagination, and it's a very and it's a very emotional process too. You know, while at the same time you're also in control of your own emotional impulses. You know, and you and, and you have a hand on your own controls. Right. You know, just in case you get too excited, <laughs> you know, you might mess around and go too fast. <laughs> but yeah, but NLP did it, it, it did teach me a lot, a, a lot of um of exactly what you got what I'm teaching you guys in martial arts. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, through the body, there's a lot of that. Oh yeah. But anyway, these uh, these these patterns that I was I, that I was learning, like like there was this one there was this one pattern called the blowjob pattern, uh -huh. where where the where the goal was to talk her into, mm. you know, imagining what it's like to like to go down on you, mm. you know. But but you're not but you're not just directly describing the process. You're you're talking about you're talking about chocolate, mm. you know, and and how great it is. By the time that you're that the first molecule of chocolate hit your tongue and you just want to taste it and you just want to keep it there in your mouth you know and you just and, right, right. you know you're 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 using that sexual tone at the same time but but it's more about sensation of taste right, right, right. you know but but you're but you're uh, also converting it with the tone mm -hmm. you know it's like and you just want to feel it going down inside you with the pleasure right, right. don't you you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so like that like huh well, well, wait wait <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh yeah, it's a, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very devious, a very, very tricky process, you know, to describe. Bugs are smashing, what are you talking about? I saw them like, cross oh, around each other, and I was trying to shoo them away, and they were like, eh, woof, woof. <laughs> then one got behind and doing doggy style right now, they're fucking They're not doing doggy style, they're bugs, they're doing buggy style. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that was the area I was that, that was the area I was gesturing towards. Oh, so they see, look, look, you sent some energy. <laughs> <right there. laughs> I swear they did this. So he, they went like, woo, 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 woo. I was like, what the fuck? They went, whoop, whoop. Then he went in position. Like, I'm like, damn, he finna smash. Yeah, NLP worked for me. And they're like, speaking of that, right. mm -hmm. <laughs> getting at it, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I got some spurs. <laughs> but I yeah, there's, 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 there's patterns. There's there's patterns where the process is talking the person into. Being totally fascinated with you, feeling like they've known you for a long time, or, or instantly they fall in love with you. You yeah. know some NLP, do a motherfucking show, man, oh, a man. dance, yeah. man, where you like do a, a skit and they get captivated not only by your looks, by your presentation. Right. Mm -hmm. Like when I was up in Dallas with uh, Michael Dante, Michael Dante's show, and I did the show, and I was like 300 women in Austin, was also trying to scream high, I made a lot of money. And I go upstairs, man, and it's Italian black shit, man. She's half Italian, half black, mm -hmm. yellow bone, beautiful, man. She walks upstairs and she had that look in her eyes. As soon as I saw her, I'm like, <laughs> gone, man. Mm -hmm. She walked up to me, I'm like, what's up, baby? Come here, come mm -hmm. on. Yeah. And then next week she drove all the way from Austin to Houston wow. and gave me a blow job. Mm -hmm. And then went back to us. Yeah. <laughs> and all she wanted to do, she said, I'm good, it's good. I can't just, I'm like, okay. Wow. Well, she was off the fucking same, man. Dang. Yeah, that that, that goes that goes back that goes back to what I taught told that skinny guy Mark about how about how women want how about how women want to feel alive mm -hmm. oh, to yeah. be made to feel alive oh hell yeah and that that no matter what he was trying to tell this girl to and how to listen to her mm -hmm. yeah, how to listen to him it is you know and she's and she's already rebelling mm -hmm. you know it's like dude she's not connecting with you right, she's not she's feeling not even there with you right because you know? she got all these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, bingo and full of bingo. <laughs> right, right, full of bingo. <laughs> yeah, send her that energy like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm yep, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. your boy turn around and we don't get no nuts, nah, nah, nah. man. Said, yeah. he gonna watch. I know right. he gonna watch. Be mad. Oh, yeah, and, and they're gonna be motivated when they feel really alive to listen to you. Nah, <laughs> like, right. I'm gonna get a black hand or something. I'm trying to get in. Got <laughs> 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 <Not> intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my punk? Give me 15 minutes. Give me 15. Oh boy. Cool, but yeah, um, speech seduction, um, dancing is a is a perfect model to that, mm -hmm. where um where you're seducing from the stage, mm -hmm. you know, the eye contact you make and everything. It's like, but the audience is already ready. 
I already okay. had an expectation. They, their excitement is already set in already. Right. Yeah, it's just not. it's just up to the entertainer to the, to, to fuck it up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Said, yeah right. It happens. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, happens. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm like, dude, they were screaming. Right there. What the hell? Yeah. I don't know, man. I did this. I said, oh, see right there. That's where he fucked up right there. Oh shoot! I, I was I was doing I was doing um, the amateur contest for six months straight at Lebert, mm -hmm. you know, un until until they finally um, until they finally put me on the roster. Um, it's like toward, uh, by the time around my sixth month, I was actually starting to win these contests. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was I was gradually getting used to getting my feel of the game on the stage. Right. You know, where, was that your first time dancing? Period. Um, actually, that was my first time dancing in a club. In a club. Okay. You know, but other than that, I was doing reviews. And parties, but uh, you know, being at LeBaron, that's a whole that was, that was a whole that's level. level. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that. like that's that's straight that's straight entertainment for the whole house. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you got to entertain a wider group than mm -hmm. just you know, you got to capture everybody in there. Yeah, so, there, there's there's different levels of personability. Mm -hmm. And then that, yeah, and also these are women that are trained to see shows, mm -hmm. not just somebody coming in. And you know, like if you go to a review or a private party, a lot of them ain't even seen dancers. So anything mm -hmm. you do, ah. When you yeah. go somewhere they've been seen dancing, right, right, you gotta come with your A game. Where they be mm -hmm. like, "What the fuck is this motherfucker doing?" Oh yeah. Now when I walk in, you gotta, you know, they already been trained to expect yeah. at certain things. So you gotta mm -hmm. go on Wow. You gotta go on point. Yeah. Then I spent another year, and then I hit the road again. Huh. Oh yeah, that was that, that was a that was a that was a hell of a schooling for me. Oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah. I came from Beaumont to uh, Houston. That was a shock because I just. I didn't learn anything. The guy who taught me, I basically did a couple of parties with him, and after that I was on my own, and it was just a private party, so, you know, I was kind of clueless to what yeah. club was going on. Yeah. Amazon. <laughs> so when I came to Houston, I was like, what the? And then got thrown into the element I got thrown into, which I was clueless about, and I was like, okay. Yeah, this one house of smoke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 